Okay, I just want to check and make sure that everyone's able to hear me and that there's no feedback. If you hear me nice and clear, if you could just write in the chat box just to let me know that my volume is okay. Can everyone hear me? Thanks, girl. I appreciate you guys. Last time I did this, people were saying that there was uh, feedback. There was a bad echo. So I've muted and silent, silenced everything else. I just want to make sure that that took care of everything. South Africa. Yay. I love that. Yeah. So while we're waiting, I'm just going to, I'm going to begin in just a few minutes, but I always love to know where everybody is from. It's like the most exciting thing about doing these. Iowa, USA, awesome. All right, perfect. North Carolina, perfect. Very good, welcome everybody. Just going to give everybody their last couple of minutes just to get on here. Hello, Michigan and Cali. I'm normally very jealous of the warmer weather locations, but it's finally getting warm here in New York. We've had a couple beautiful days. Texas, yes, that that's a pretty uh, that's pretty far trip for for me. I visited though, beautiful state. I was out there, I think it was about three years ago. I took my uh, cheerleading team. I used to coach, I coached for about 15 years. I took them out to nationals in Dallas, Texas. It was beautiful. Somebody from Delaware. I attended school in Delaware for a little while. I love all the cherry blossoms. Maryland, good morning. Okay, just about one more minute and we're gonna get started. And this is going to be recorded, so if somebody misses the first few minutes, they're not really going to be missing too much. And that's the other great thing. So if, if you know somebody who wanted to attend or wanted to, to view this material and they didn't get a chance to because they were busy this morning, I understand it's Saturday, you know, for a lot of people, Saturday is, is you know, busy day, catch up day, running errands. Uh, they'll always have the opportunity to view it again, not live, but they'll be able to view the video on my channel. So.
All right, got someone else here from Texas. Perfect. Okay, so we're actually going to get started. Um, I am, oh, hello, Leanne from 21st Century Educators. I just did a webinar for her a few weeks ago. Her company is absolutely amazing. They offer professional development internationally for teachers. Uh, so I, I just was, I had the pleasure of, of working for her. If, uh, if you guys want more information about that, please, please hit me up. Um, I'm also a moderator for their Facebook page, Bitmoji Praise for Educators. I'm sure that's probably where a lot of you found out about this PD, but if you have not joined, please make sure that you do. Uh, it's an amazing group of educators. They they share their ideas. They share their slides. I just It's such an incredible group. I, I've really never seen so many amazing people in one place. So like I said, if you haven't done that, please make sure that you go and check out that Facebook page and answer all of the questions um, for membership. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting in, in limbo waiting. Okay. All right. So let's get started. And I'm going to be looking at your questions from my phone and then working on my computer. So I'm going to be multitasking a little bit. Yes, cheer is life. I do miss it a little bit sometimes. Okay, um, so this was what was on the the event. So it was kind of like a teaser to show you guys. Okay, I have here, this is like a, like a knockoff of the Cartier necklace. And I made earrings and a bracelet to match, of course, because why not? If I'm going to be making it. Um, we have some David Yerman over here. Okay, for anybody who loves David Yerman and, and birthstones. Okay. Um, good morning, Toronto, Canada. Okay. And so we're just going to get started here. So what I always recommend to people when you are doing anything Bitmoji is to make sure you have at least one, if not maybe two um, slides. And I call them workspace because that really like helps you to get your stuff together before you move them onto your, your final product. Okay. So here, this is, this was my workspace. This is where I started. This is my original slide. So you can kind of see like how my brain was functioning here um, when I started to try to make the custom jewelry. And really all I did to start this off was to go into shapes. And I kind of looked for whatever shapes that I thought might be usable, I guess I would say for different, different pieces of jewelry. So for these bracelets that you see over here, I used, where is it? I used this right here. So it says like flow chart. Okay. Obviously it's not a flow chart, but they work perfect for bracelets. And I always start off making them a little bit bigger than what I need them to just because they're easier to work with. Okay. Oh, Honduras. Beautiful. Good morning. My husband is from El Salvador. We're supposed to be going there in August. I hope it doesn't get canceled. I have an eight month old that I'm dying for him to meet his grandparents. Okay, so here we go. So once you have that shape there, I'm just gonna make it a color that's easier to see. Okay. And then you literally size it. You can make it thinner if you want, obviously, if you want like little skinny bangles. Okay, and then I'm gonna take her bracelet off because I want for you all to see how to place them. Um, I found that this Bitmoji here works best for when you're adding the jewelry because, oh, and if your hair is up as well, because then you can see the earrings. If you just want a, a necklace, then you can have your hair down, then it really doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm going to drag this down and I want to flip it. So this little rogue circle that's over here, this is how you rotate your image. Okay, and then you can use your arrow keys to move it. Um, something that I discovered recently that has been a huge help to me is when you're using your arrow keys, I know we get frustrated because sometimes it tends to move the image too much one side to the other. A little trick that I learned recently is if you hold the shift button down and then you use your arrow keys, it only moves things a pixel one pixel at a time. So that'll help you, especially when trying to put your accessories onto your Bitmoji to actually get them perfectly like put into the right place. Okay. And if I look at it, I see it's way too big. So I could then just go back and I can make it smaller. And again, this is something you're going to have to play with. 
and it does take a little time. It also helps if you start out with your Bitmoji a little larger because obviously the, the larger the Bitmoji and the larger the pieces of jewelry, the easier they are to maneuver. Okay, and because like, I'm a perfectionist, I actually have to move that to the right and up one pixel. Okay, so there, now she's got a blue bracelet. And all you have to do is, you see here, I have a whole bunch of them. All I did was just control C, control V, and then I changed the colors of them. So once you click on your image, you just go up and you can pick any color you want. If you want to be rainbow tie-dyed version that I have here, again, you just go up, you would go to gradient and then custom. And then you see here, I just added you can add as many of these little dots as you want. Okay, it starts off with just the square here and just the square here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you on a blank one how I did that. Gradient, custom. Okay, you see this is what it looks like originally and obviously I wanted more colors in the middle so I just added like three dots and then you can drag them depending on how you want this to look. And then I just added the colors. So I'm just going to throw in some crazy colors here just to show you guys a little feel of how to do this. And again, if you miss something, no worries, because you'll have the ability to go back and rewind and fast forward through this later on. Okay, now if I hit OK, you'll see there it is. Okay, so that is how I made the bracelets. Now you see here there's a watch. Literally all I did was I went to Google and I went to um, control D to duplicate a shape, control C and control V, C and V. So I'll make, let me just type that really quick because I realize with my accent that might sound a little. That might be not coming out clear. Yeah, so it's control C and then control V. Control C is to copy, control V is to paste. Uh, somebody wrote in the chat box, control D. No, control D is if you wanted to make a duplicate slide. So if I'm here and I click on the slide here and I hit control D, you'll see um, a duplicate of the same slide is going to pop up. And that's also a good tool for you guys to know. Little shortcuts that make your life easier and speed up the process because we want to make a million things. So we're always in a rush. Okay, so next I have here, um, I made like the little pearl type necklaces. And again, all I did, and it it takes time. It takes patience. You know, this is not something that you're going to do in two seconds. Um, but if, if you're somebody who, like I know somebody who wears pearls a lot, like almost every day, that's like their signature thing. They wear pearls with everything. Um, so that person would obviously make, um, yes, control D does save a click and that, that, that matters. Um, once you have things to the size that you want them to, that's when you're going to start doing your control C and then you could just hit VVV and it's going to make all of them. Okay. And again, I would never normally have this much on one workspace just because it is not easy to maneuver things around. And once you get everything the way you want it to, don't forget our little, shift arrow keys to get things to move just one pixel at a time. Okay, and then you just keep messing with it until you see that I got them like this here. Now, this next part is important because otherwise you're gonna be get, become very frustrated with yourself. Okay, um, you're gonna highlight just the shapes in your piece of jewelry and then you're going to right click. Right now, this says ungroup. Okay, so I'm gonna ungroup it just to show all of you. Right now, I could move every single one of these circles individually, and you definitely don't wanna do that. Okay, so you're gonna highlight everything, you're gonna right click, and you're gonna hit group. Now you'll notice when I try to move it, it all moves together, okay? And that, that goes with any shapes that you want grouped together. So you see here, this this knockoff, my, my David Yerman over here, uh, my birthstone, I'm a February baby, and you'll see the chains, they're separated. Down here, they are, down here they're separated right now too. But if I wanted them to come together, I would just highlight them again. Oh. 
And sometimes you see for whatever reason it's not popping up, you can always go to format or arrange, arrange, here it is. And then you can hit group that way. Okay. Just sometimes it decides to be temperamental. And then that one I can move individually on its own. Um, control. If you, oh, okay. Command. Okay. If you're using a, a MacBook. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can you make your colors red and blue? Yeah, you can make you can make any colors. Um, so like let's say if I wanted to make this this here red and blue, I would just go back up into the paint can and do the gradient, and I would just choose only the red and blue. Okay. Um, here for this one, you see I made these different colors, so I wanted a um, a multicolored pearl. I did the same exact thing. The only reason that it's circular is when I went into custom. I chose radial instead of linear. So that just changes it to a circle and it's gonna make each individual bead look like that. Otherwise, if I wanted to have it linear, I could change it and I could hit okay. And you'll see how it makes it in lines rather than the circles. Um, the chains, I'll move on to that right now. Okay, so actually let me move down to my necklaces page to show you that. Uh, I have to be honest, this was probably the most challenging part was making the chains. Um, and like I said, just it takes a little while. Once you have a chain that you like that works for your Bitmoji, my suggestion is to just copy like control C and control V or command if you're on a MacBook and to make copies of it rather than having to do it over and over and over again because it does become quite a pain. Um, and all you do is you come up to here where it says line and you're going to choose curved connector. Okay, from here, you're gonna click once and you wanna hold it down, you don't wanna do that. Okay, and you're gonna bring it up. Okay, now this is, you see here, this is how I made like this type of chain and depending on what you're going to hang from the chain is going to depend on the type of chain that you're going to want to use. So if you want one like this, you're going to make it like this. And then the little yellow dot, that can actually be maneuvered. So if you want that pulled out a little bit, you can pull it out. Again, this is really important. So I'm happy with this, right? This Let's just say that this is the way I wanted it. Once you click on it, you can just hit Control C, Control V, um, and then, or like, or, um, like was suggested, you can hit Command instead, and then because I'm not going to want to do this for the other side. It'll drive you crazy. And then just click on the image, right click, and you're going to rotate that, flip it horizontally, okay? And so that's going to create a mirrored image so it's exactly the same on both sides, okay? Um, the other the other one which I used for this, my, my knockoff Chanel necklace here, or my Cartier necklace rather, um, is I used... Curve. So I went to curve and here I just, I clicked. I brought it up as far as I thought I wanted it. And then I brought it in a little bit and then I click again. Oops, see, and I clicked again. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that is how I did this. Um, now, if I wanted to, let's say, attach this to this seashell, and that's the other great thing about this. Um, just quickly, I'll show you here. Where is it? Um, somebody had mentioned that they wanted pineapple earrings uh, when I was looking at the comments on the event in the Facebook group. So I literally just Google searched pineapple earrings and then I used the website remove.bg to remove the background. Um, now, of course, like, you know, we're all adults, like you all know about copyright. Um, so if you decide that you're going to go and use an image that you technically don't have permission for, that's that's on you guys, but I'm just showing you how to do these things, how to, how to manipulate them. Um, obviously, anything that I'm making here custom, you know, like I have permission because I'm making these from scratch. I'm just using um, Google Slides, okay? But here we go. Um, and again, so now if I'm happy with this, I'm going to control C V again, and I'm just going to rotate it. Okay, and that'll bring me to the other side. Oh, grab the wrong one. 
This is why it's so important to have your workspace so that things don't get messed up. Okay. And then once you have that where you're happy with it, again, you're going to grab everything, right click, I don't want all of that together. And again, like I said, for whatever reason, sometimes that gives me a hard time. If I just go to arrange, I can just hit group. Okay. Now I can freely, oh, sorry. I can freely move this around and my charm is now with my chain and I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Now you'll see I can put this up on her neck. You can also change the color of those lines. So if you wanted it to look more like a gold color, like I had in one of my examples, um, you could do that too. And it also, I guess, depends on the color of the shirt that you're wearing. Let me just, okay, I'm all caught up with the comments. Awesome. Okay. So there it is. And if I wanted to, I can actually make this even a little shorter. I can bring it in a little bit and then I just have to reposition it on her neck. And see, I'm not exactly happy with the way that that's looking. So one pixel at a time, I'm just going to move it into place. And for anybody who just hopped on doing that, you just hit shift and then your arrow keys will move it one pixel at a time instead of like those really big like this. Okay, because that sometimes does not help us. Um, here I have, uh, if you have uh, children and you want to make like a, like a mom necklace, okay, I have my birthstone and my two kids. Okay, so you can do something like that. You can even do it with the squares. Um, I have here just to show you these like gemstones. Okay, they're the like the princess cut. If you want these, you can make any birthstone that you want, and you could just do that by going to shapes, and you're gonna go to the shape that's called bevel. Okay, once I bring it down, I can make it as large or small as as I want. I can even make it rectangular, okay? And I did that for my girl over here, okay? I made her earrings rectangular, and then I made her necklace square, and then I'll show you how I made that background to give it that true David Yerman look. Let me just go back to where I was. First stones, here we go, okay. So I'm just gonna make this a color. Purple, why not? And we'll make it a dark purple. This way it really looks like an amethyst. Okay, and then all I did was I actually went and I grabbed another one of the same shape. Okay. And I could have just copied, you know, control C and V again. And I made this one gray, like a true gray gray, because I wanted it to appear to be silver. And I'm going to send that to the back because otherwise I don't want that to be on top of my purple stone. Okay. And that's how I did that. Obviously then I'm going to group them. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that they're grouped and they are because they're moving together. And then I just grab the corner and I can make it as big or as small as I want. And you see it's separated. And that happens sometimes. And that's why I'm telling you, you saw it all move together. You're all my witnesses. But sometimes for whatever reason, it does ungroup. So just be patient. It takes a little time, but just remember once it's once it's done and it's on, that's it, it's yours. And they're your images. And I'm actually happy that happened because I'm even happier with the way that this came out this time. Okay. Now let's see. There we go. I can make that nice and small and see it happened again. So just like I said. Just be patient. But at the end, and I'm not going to continue to mess with it because we have other things we have to go through, but at the end, it will come out and it'll look like this. Okay. And then you can change the colors of them. That's the great thing. And then you can save all of these on a slide presentation like I have here. Okay. Um, here, the Chevron necklace. Okay. This is pretty popular okay, in the past couple years. Um, a lot of people have been wearing the, the chevron shaped earrings and necklaces and things like that. So to do that, all I did was I went into my shapes again. And that's the great thing about this is that when, when you're literally creating everything from scratch, 
you don't have to worry about where it's coming from because you're creating it. And then for this one, I went to arrows. And then I just grabbed the chevron. And again, I start off with them kind of big because I, I'd rather have something that's more manageable. And then you can turn it in whatever direction you want, depending on the piece of jewelry or the position of your Bitmoji. And then I went up to color and I just chose a color that I thought maybe looked the closest to gold. Okay. Um, and you can, you can mess with that if you want. There's um, an extension. I actually have it up here. If you see that little eyedropper, it's called Colorzilla. And I downloaded that. You can really, um, I'll just show you really quick. You see I'm hovering over top of that purple seashell. If I wanted to make my font match that, I could click on this and it gives me the code up here. So this way when I go into custom colors, I can paste it and you see it comes up as the same color and it'll change it for me. So just cute little, not about the jewelry, but if you want something to match and you want to change the color of something, or if you find something online and then you want a matching bracelet, that's how you get the color to be exactly the same. Yes, and you do have to make sure you have everything selected that you want resized. Thank you, Nicole, I appreciate that. Okay, so back to the chevron. And then, like I said, once you have it the way you want it, if you only want one chevron, then all you have to do is to attach it to a necklace. Um, and then for this, obviously, if this was meant to be gold, I would want to make sure that my chains were gold as well. And then you just click on the, the lines that you created, and then you just go and you change the color of them. Okay. Um, if you wanted to add another chevron, like in the example that I, that I had, you just create another one. And you don't have to worry about connecting these because... The great thing is, is that these end up being so tiny as opposed to your Bitmoji that no one's going to see whether or not they're like truly connected. Um, if you come back up to the example that I, I showed, you know, it just looks like a necklace. You really, really have to be paying like super, super close attention. Um, and yes, this will all be viewable later. Uh, I have it so that it automatically saves as a recording and then it'll be just like any other YouTube video on my channel. You'll be able to watch it as many times as you need. Fast forward, rewind. Okay, so let me go back to my chevron. Okay, and again, um, in this example, you see I, I made this kind of chain. I used it. Um, for the other one, I used the chains here that I used with the, the curve. So this chain here, you would use the curve. And for the other ones, you would use the one that says curved connector. So those um, curved connector will give you the one that the chain that meets in the middle, like this one over here or this one, and then just using curve will give you this kind of chain here. Okay. Um, yeah, no, this is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, Colorzilla, I, I don't know if somebody missed that. Yeah, it's, it's an extension you can download to help you match colors. So I could take a color from really anywhere. I can just click on this and then page color picker active. Okay, and, and it'll, you see up here at the top, this is where it pops up. So anything that I touch, it's gonna match the color for me and then that's how you can you can do things. So th it's a lot of fun when you're making your PowerPoint, or your PowerPoint, I'm sorry, your uh, Google Slides, you can um, match any colors you want. So not that, that there's not enough color options but for for some of us like I know I'm super particular when it comes to color like I love bright pretty colors and that this this definitely helps um one of my fellow moderators on bitmoji craze turned me on to this a few days ago and I've been using it ever since so yay colorzilla <laughs> oh and somebody had already somebody already added the extension yeah no it's definitely one of my new favorites so that's for that Okay, now moving on, where are my earrings? Okay, so here. So now 
for earrings. And like I said, you can create the bracelets and the necklaces that match really anything. So sometimes like I discovered a pair of earrings and then afterwards I made the necklace and earrings, uh, the necklace and bracelets to match. Um, so you have here like the little diamond earrings, like the little drop dangles, okay? Um, to make these, again, it, all they are are shapes. And this is the beautiful thing about this because you don't have to worry about somebody saying that you're stealing somebody else's images. You don't have permission for them. The only time that you would have to worry about that is if you decide to go and, and do something like I did here with, with the seashell. I did just want to show you, though, that you know the capability is there. Okay. Um, so going back, I just went into shapes and I found the diamond, which is uh, right here. Okay. So where it says flow chart decision. Okay. Well, I found a much more fun way to use these rather than in a flow chart. They make awesome custom bitmoji jewelry. <laughs> Okay, and then these are would be my pearl earrings to go with the pearl set that you saw on the other slide. And again, oh, see, okay, that was kind of perfect. That usually never happens. Okay, um, but again, if I wanted to move that just a little bit, I would do shift and use my arrow keys. Okay, so like I said, I, I do know somebody who wears pearls every day, so she would just make herself a pearl set and then call it a day. Uh, and then you can do them the long ones too. And this was a little frustrating to do because there are a lot of the little pearls. It did take a little while, but like I said, you only have to do it once. After that, all you have to do is copy and paste and you don't have to worry about it. You're probably wondering why I have like all these little extra little pieces here. Um, like I said, if you Google image glitter heart, Let's say you wanted some glitter earrings or you want earrings for uh, the holidays. If you wanted pumpkins or pineapples, I saw somebody up top mention watermelons. Like your, your possibilities are really endless. Um, also, what I'll do is I will put in the link to another video that I have. Um, if you don't want to check it out right now while this is running, uh, it's to my all the pretty pieces. It's kind of like a Bitmoji boutique. And... I give everyone view access to this. So all you have to do is copy and paste because it's not just about jewelry. It's about hair accessories. It's about scarves. It's about customizing your clothing. Um, I have religious head coverings here, things for the new year, obviously a crown. If you want to be a princess, uh, headbands. Okay. So here I can give her a headband. Okay. So there's so many different ways that you can use accessories for your Bitmojis. It's kind of like the, um, anybody remember paper dolls? Okay, so it's kind of like that. It's just with accessories rather than clothes. And then I have also, you know, obviously these are these are my knockoffs. These are like what you would buy like on Canal Street in New York City, if anyone's familiar. Okay, so you could just put your Gucci or your Michael Kors on really any of these purses. And another great feature that Google uh, Slides has is if, as long as it's not white or black, if it's a color, you can click an image and then go to format options and then just go to recolor. And from here, you could pick another color. Let's say I wanted this bag blue. Okay, they don't have infinite options, like you can't use your eyedropper for that one, but you can go and you can change the color. So I can have, you know, my turquoise, Michael Kors bag that's here, okay, or I can have it in fuchsia, purple, okay, so, um, oh, somebody just asked, where do you find all the pretty pieces, on my YouTube channel, there is a video called All the Pretty Pieces, and this is the thumbnail for the video, so that's how you'll know you're in the right place, and the link to this is in the description box, so if anyone's still having trouble afterwards, and you comment, and you need that, um, I can always add the the link to the description of this video once it's uploaded. It does take a little bit of time, I have to say, um, for, for YouTube to get it together and to get that, that video, the live video recording posted. But once that happens, I can go back in the description, edit that. And I, I'll, you know what, I'll just do that anyway. So if you, you know, can't wait and you want to go check out all the pretty pieces, by all means, free, you know, feel free to do so. It's already in the description of the other video. Uh, here I have some some of those images that I took off of Google, 
Okay. Um, but again, I'm just using them for my kids in class. You know, like I'm not selling them. I'm not making money off of this. Um, so like I said, I just kind of wanted to play around with it, but I do have some beautiful jewelry here that I, I was able to pull off. Uh, I can take this one off of her. You can see here, I have my Cartier bracelets on because it's the only Cartier bracelet I'm ever going to own. Let's just be honest. Okay. And then again, I'm just going to Put this up okay and there she is she's got a, a beautiful necklace and I can actually put that up one more pixel okay there we go so like I said you all have access to this um, you see here I have some scarves not too many they're they're a little bit of a pain you really have to find the perfect image to get that to really fit nicely around around the neck but those are there um, I'm just reading the comments. Yeah, it's funny. I, I look like a hot mess right now. I'm like still in my pajamas, which is why you're only seeing my screen. So my, my Bitmoji, um, Dr. Ali, um, Dr. Alatisha Kane is the founder of the, of the Facebook page, the Bitmoji Crates for Educators. Um, she was joking in one of our group chats and she called me the fashionista and I said, oh, if you could only actually see what I look like, it's only my bitmoji that's that's like fashion forward. I'm, I'm like a hot mess because of the quarantine, you know, no, no hair salons, no nail salons. I'm like, I just never in my life. OK, um, here are some glasses that I've added on to here. So if you want some like Ray-Ban looking sunglasses, you can have those. Okay. And like I said, you guys will, will have access to all of this. These are things that you can actually do on your own. It's, it's, it's really, you know, it's, it's nothing that is above anyone. It's just, it's just about learning the skills and how to, how to do things. So these are, are for shirts, shirt logos. Um, I don't know if you saw, I believe it was on one of the first pages here. Okay. So I made her like a pink capri sweatsuit. Okay. And then that's what I did. I just found the little, the little icons and then I just put them on. Um, this was from, oh, this was the end of my video. I did this in another live PD. I think that this was from uh, Bitmoji Beyond Basics. So I do have a few other PDs that I've, that I've used. Okay. So with my, my 3D Bitmojis, I have the videos to do all of them. I added my, my GIFs here in the background and this was like her, her grand for grand finale. Okay. So, so like, Oh, thanks for visiting my, my boutique. Very bougie. Okay. Uh, what else do I have here? Just making sure I don't forget anything. Nope. Okay. So this was everything from, uh, all the pretty pieces. And like I said, this is, there's a video for it. The thumbnail looks just like the image here. If you want to go check it out, the link to this document is in the the description and I can see somebody somebody's already on there so you guys you guys are good okay so going back here uh, I do want to quickly show all of you an example of how to like how I got these these pineapple earrings for example okay, I'm just going to open up another tab oh and everybody asks every time I do these let me just open up another tab real quick um, about my my background here <laughs> So I do have a video on customizing your, your Google background, okay, using your, your Bitmojis. And then I went and created a second account so that I didn't have to delete my Bitmoji. And I created one, one at a time. I just kept resetting the app and I made them for my, my son, my daughter, and my husband. And that's how I was able to do that. And again, I also have a video for customizing your desktop background um, and your icons here, so I was able to Bitmoji everything. Why not? We we played with them so much. They're not just for the kids. Let's just face it. Like we have as much fun with them as they do. So I also have a video for that, um, the desktops, and then also for the folders and the shortcuts, how to personalize those. And this is for Microsoft 10. Um, I do believe at the end of my my videos, though, I have a, a clip I pulled off from the internet how to use them, how to do it for a Mac. So feel free to check that out as well. Um, but I'm going to uh, image search here. 
pineapple earrings. Oh, and it would nice be nice if I spelled it properly. And these are the ones that I found. And they were just, it was just the clear, the clearest image that I can find. And I literally, I copied it. And then I went to a website that's called remove.bg. Okay. Oh, and I'm not, I'm not supposed to copy it. I'm supposed to save it to my computer. Okay, so earrings. All right, and then now we can go back to the website and I'm gonna upload the image. Oh, thank you, Susan. I have I have more fun teaching people how to do this than I, I actually actually get to do things on my own. So I see other people's creations and I'm like, I'm so jealous. But you know, I like I said I have more fun teaching, so I'll let you guys be all be all creative with this stuff and have the fun with it. Um, and here it is. Here are my earrings. So you're going to see that they're going to pop up. Okay, it's here. So I'm just going to hit download. And you can see here that the background all came out, it looks really good. Okay. So now it, it downloaded to my computer, which is great. I can actually go back now to my workspace, insert image from my computer. And here, earrings remove BG preview. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So I'm actually going to make a copy and you're going to see why. Now when I double click, I'm just going to crop out one of the earrings. Okay. And it's easier for me to do that first and then to resize it. Okay. And then, you know, because I mean, you could probably just use the same exact earring, but I feel like they, they fall just slightly different and that would bother me. So I want to make sure I have one right and one left earring. And that's why I made a copy because I'm a little crazy like that. And that's what I do. Okay. And then I would just minimize it the same and you kind of put them next to each other to make, make sure you have them as close to the same size as possible. And then you just pop them over onto her, her ears like I like I have over here on the side. But that's how you would go and you would find the images to do to do any of this. Um, somebody's asking about the links to my slide deck. I mean, if you want to link to this hot mess, then absolutely. Um, I will make this available to you. Um, this way you can just copy and paste the stuff from from here. That's that's fine. Um, just know that I, I don't plan on organizing it any further. So. Um, like I said, if you want to deal with the mess, then like I said, I'm, I'm a sharer. So anything that I have, you know, it, it's for you guys too. Um, oh yes. Yeah, someone said you can also drag the file from the bottom and that that's absolutely correct. Um, yeah, I love accessories. I just, I don't have the time and because I haven't gone any place and we've been quarantined, I, I just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit there and, and worry about accessorizing to sit in my house for my kids besides my, my small son is only eight months old. He'd probably just rip my earrings out of my ears and that wouldn't be fun. Um, and then again, just a couple other, a couple other things. If you want to, um, make your headband from scratch, you see here, all I did for this, and this, this looks exactly like the one from all the pretty pieces. Um, oddly enough, I did not make the one from all the pretty pieces. I found that image. I'm actually just looking, oh, it's on her head. Okay. So it looks very similar to this. You can actually make, make one your own. Um, you find whatever flower you want to stick on it. But all I did for that was I came to shapes and uh, it was the moon. I just have to find it. Here it is. Okay, so it's the moon shape. And all I did was stretch it out and then you just got to rotate it. So again, you're going to take that outside rogue circle over there and you're going to rotate it until... You have it where you want it, and then you can make that any color. So if you just want a headband with nothing on it, I could always just stretch this out a little bit because obviously it's a little too short. Okay. Um, 
and then I can color it. I can make it rainbow if I wanted to. I can make it this turquoise color, and then it just goes right on her head. And again, I would have to probably rotate that just slightly more and then make it bigger. Okay, and obviously I would never pick teal with that olive green shirt because that's just an atrocity to fashion. Okay, and even again, I'd probably just expand it a little bit and I would sit there and play with it until I was happy with it, which is exactly what you're going to do. Um, because if you're sitting here on a Saturday morning, sitting through a PD about how to accessorize your Bitmojis, then obviously you're not happy with the, the options that, that, that Snapchat and Bitmoji has given you. So that's why you want to do all of this. Um, yeah. Oh no, no, no problem. Basha. I, I love, like I said, I love doing this. Um, also if you are a ponytail girl, which like I said, I have two small children. I live in a ponytail. You can also, if this is the one that you use, you can also do this and just resize it and you can make them hair scrunchies. So I can have like that 80 hair scrunchie look. And of course it went behind my Bitmoji. Let me just bring this to the front. Okay. And then I would just move this down. I probably have to make it skinnier as well. But there's the the possibilities are really endless. You can do like a really cute, like an 80s theme, okay, with the big hair scrunchies. And you could probably figure out a way to get some slouch socks on her. Okay. Um, you know, just just so much fun. So much fun to do these things. And like I said, with everything that's going on in the world right now, we just need some kind of positivity to keep us busy and you know, our kids, um, our, our students love it too. Like our, my kids always laugh, you know, I, I teach um, English to students who's, who, who's English, who, who for English is not their first language. So a lot of my students are from Haiti and Central America. Um, and, and my kids, like they think I'm crazy. So, and they're high school. So this isn't just for the babies, you know, this isn't just for elementary school students. Um, even the high school kids think that it's, it's, it's a trip. They, they laugh at it. And you know what, that really, I know that really means a lot to me because, you know, they're going through a lot right now too. So anything to, even if it's, if, even if it's at my expense, anything to make my, my students happy right now through all of this really makes me feel good. And you see everything moved when I moved my Bitmoji, everything else moved, which is why you should always remember to re to, to group your, your items. So you don't do what I just did learn from my mistakes. Okay. So there we go. There's that. Um, so I know that I've seen, they're actually really cool. They're better looking than this one up here, but I've seen places where they have, it's almost like a snake looking, um, charm for a necklace. And it looks like a bunch of like scribbled pieces together. If you wanted to do something like that, uh, or if you have a touch screen and a stylus and you're actually pretty good with drawing, which I'm not, my stick figures are even horrible. You can go here and then go to where it says scribble. Okay. And let me pick like a color. So here, here's purple. Oh, here. Now somebody was asking for red and blue earlier. I didn't forget you. I'm fellow cheerleader there. Okay. And I can just, I know you don't want to do too, too much because you want the other color to be able to pop up and it didn't show red. Okay. There we go. So there's my red. Okay. And then I, I'm still on scribble. Perfect. And let's say, um, I'm going to do again a little bit more. Okay. And I want that one to be blue. Okay. Um, and I would probably put a little bit more, like a couple more layers in there, but then when you minimize it, you can always attach that to, again, you would probably want to group that first. Um, you can group that and you can put that on a chain. You know, it's really cute. Or if you wanted to have your kids, if you have kids that are a little bit older, you can have them like make a custom piece for your necklace. And then you can just take that and turn it into a charm and attach it to one of your chains. Um, but like I said, just remember that when you're doing your chains, you want to make sure that once you find a chain that you like, and I've been practicing, okay, I've been doing this now for about a month. Um, save them, save them, save them, please, please, please make sure that you, <laughs> you save, you save the chains because they are pain to wear. Um, Oh yeah, you could definitely find breast cancer stuff um, or even customizing your clothing. So like you see, was it on here? Oh, these are my bathing suits. So yeah, I figured out how to do bathing suits as well. I have a video for that on my channel. 
it's funny because whenever, whenever somebody says something like, oh, I wish I could do blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, by the way, I have a video for that. So just make sure, you know, you guys check out what else I have to offer on the page. Make sure you subscribe, um, hit the like button. There's also that little bell icon. Let me see if I can find it. Oh no. Cause I'm, I'm streaming live now. I wish I could show you. Um, I'd have to pull up another one, but there's uh, a little bell icon that you can click. And this way, when I put post up a new video, you'll get a notification and then you won't miss any of them. Um, yeah, but the custom, the custom clothing is, is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, you see, I did that with all the pretty pieces with the, I think it was the pink. Yep. Here it is. Okay. And I even did her pants, um, uh, all different types of religious headwear. Okay. Um, culture is like super important to me. And like, I love learning about new cultures. And so I had to make sure that I, I found things. Cause when I saw people on the page, they're like, they, we don't have things, you know, for our culture, for, for head coverings or whatever. I said, Oh no, no, no. We got to figure out how to, how to fix that. Cause that's just not acceptable. Bitmojis are for everybody. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, was there anything else that anyone saw that I missed? I just want to make sure I didn't like skip over anything. Oh, the, um, so again, like if you wanted like a cross necklace, um, my suggestion to you, cause I was playing with that also, I was doing, um, trying to figure out how to do like the evil eye necklace and the star of David again, to represent all of the, the, the cultures. Like I said, I'm still playing. So as I, I play, if you want access to these slides, I'll add them on here. Um, but for that, all I did was I went to equations and I used the plus sign rather than you see here. Originally I had the X, so you could do like an XO bracelet if you want. Again, I don't even know if they make those anymore. I'm probably like dating myself, but, uh, when you turn this, it doesn't quite come out the right way. Like it doesn't really look right. So I, I found that the plus sign was better for that. Oh, I'm trying to see what else I missed again for the watch. Um, all I did was I went to Google image and then I Google searched watch face and I did the same thing that I did with my pineapple earrings. I just used the remove background, uh, remove BG website. Also, uh, Luna pick is a really good website. They also, it, it's free. Um, I would like to show you, but I'm like currently switching from one computer to the other and I haven't received all my pieces yet. Um, and so now like my Microsoft word is not working on my laptop, but I do have a video for removing the background. If you have Microsoft word, you can also use Microsoft word and it removes the background no different than it would on either one of those websites. Um, another big thing that a lot of people ask is about changing perspective of images. So for your classrooms, they complain because they can't find the right carpet. The carpets are standing up rather than laying down. And so it doesn't look real in the classroom. It looks more like a tapestry. Uh, remove, or no, uh, Lunapic is a, is a website and you can change the image perspective so you can make those, you know, tapestry looking carpets look flat and then you can stick them in your room. And I also have a video on my page for that as well. Um, Yes. So somebody just asked if I do the entire set of jewelry and then group and then save. Um, I mean, yeah, I could do that. That's kind of what I did on here. Um, these are all grouped together. And then here, like I made like a little choker for her. So, um, I personally don't look nice in a choker. I love the way they look on other people. Uh, but once I get everything the way I want it to, all I do is just highlight everything and you can always hold down the shift button if you want to make sure that you have everything. Um, and then again, you can either right click and um, it's grouped already. So I'm not going to group it. Um, or if that doesn't work, which sometimes for me, it doesn't, you could do the same thing and then you could just go to arrange and then hit group. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I would, I mean, you can, you can save it, I guess. Um, but you would be saving the whole slide. For me, I just make sure that I have my workspace and I get the Bitmoji the way that I want it to. And then I can copy and paste it into my, my, my final project. Um, the website, yeah, I'll just show you really quick. It's called Lunapic. So if you Google search Lunapic, 
Okay, it's the first one that pops up. And I always tell everyone to Google it because it's www.5.lunapic.com. So not the easiest thing to remember because it's not the regular format. So this is the website and I can quickly, because this was one of the, my most exciting finds. So when you hear everyone talk about Lunapic, like I, I, I posted that video and it was like, everyone was super excited because they were like, yay, more rugs. Again, you just have to just just be aware that you're using images that belong to another company, and I you know I have to have to tell all of you that. Um, so here, let's say that I wanted this one, but obviously it's standing straight up. I can just save the image to my my computer, and I'm just gonna say rug, and then when I go to Lunapic, now this is just gonna take a minute to. Um, I want to go to upload. And that'll pop up. Okay, there we go. Uh, now I just have to remember. Adjust. Okay, so it's in adjust and then perspective, and you're going to see um, red dots pop up on the four corners of the image. That's how you'll know you're in the right place. And then literally all you have to do is just slide that down, try to keep them as straight as possible. Again, you're going to have to play with it. And once you feel like you have it the way you want it, okay, you're going to hit apply. Okay, then you can save this to your computer uh, rug and I'll just call it rug two uh, and then I'll just uh, I'll delete it because obviously I don't want it in with all of my my bitmoji jewelry stuff but let me just add a slide here really quick and I'm going to insert upload from computer and then rug two and then you'll see that when this pops up, it's going to be a flat image. So it's going to look like it's laying on a floor rather than, there we go, rather than standing up like a tapestry. Oh, oh, yay. Look, people are just discovering Lunapic. Oh, so that means you hadn't seen my video. All right. So that's, I'm so happy that I was able to, to turn you all on to that because it's definitely one of my, my new favorite finds. Um, and play around with the website. Okay. I'm not going to go through everything, but there's filters. You could like put that rainbow you know, sometimes on, on Facebook, they allow you to put like a, a filter over top of your photo if it's Pride Month or, um, you know, if you wanted to wanted it to look like there was fire over top of, of an image, you could do the same thing. Um, yeah, you see, it just puts like a filter over top of it. There's so many different things that you can you can do with this. I like it. And the best thing is that it's free. You know, and my motto is, is if it's free, it's for me. So, all right, just give me one second here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, so let me close out of this stuff. Okay, let's get rid of this carpet here because it doesn't belong in our jewelry. Okay, and I think that that is about all the jewelry. I think I kind of went over everything. Um, I don't know if there were any questions. Was there anything that anybody wanted to see one more time? I'll just give you a minute to type that in the chat. Yes. Like I said, if it's free, it's for me. That is my motto. You know, and us as teachers, we, we, we already pay so much for all of the stuff in our classrooms, you know, I'm like constantly buying food for my kids, you know, making sure I have boxes of cereal. So, you know what, if I can get something for free, then, then why not? I don't, I would rather not pay if I don't have to. So, I mean, there are a couple, couple exceptions that I've made. Um, for example, I did pay for a subscription for Screencast-O-Matic, 
and I do that to edit a lot of my videos. It's also great to kind of um, do narration over slides. So I, I did I did pay for that um, with few exceptions. So like I said, I, I use everything free as possible. Um, I know that in my video for making the animated banners, or you can really use it to do any kind of animation, but to make the animated Google Classroom banners, uh, I was using uh, Creator Studio. And Creator Studio made it so that their free version, you can only make things up to a certain size. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Um, so I did realize that you can use, this is the icon up here, Screencastify, and you can use that instead. So it's, you know, if one company decides to start charging, there's usually always another one that decides that they're going to keep things for free because they'd rather have the, the people using, using the app, you know, and have the traffic going through their website or on the app rather than, you know, people stop using it because they now have to pay for it. Uh, the glasses, the glasses, I literally just did the same thing. I Google, I Google image searched for sunglasses or eyeglasses. And then you just have to find ones that don't have the, um, the pieces that go behind the ears because, you know, with the bitmojis, you're not going to see that, and you definitely don't want them sticking out from behind, from, from on top of the hair, uh, because they're just not going to look natural. So here, there's like a pair of yellow knockoff Ray-Bans that I found. I really love her her pink glasses here. Um, and I apologize if you hear the siren in the background. Here, around 12 o'clock every day, the fire whistle goes off, and unfortunately, I live across the street. But yes, so there she is, and she's got her cute little scarf with her her pink flowers in it that matches her her glasses. Okay, um, I hope that that answered your question about the glasses. If not, feel free to ask below. And again, you know, I I'm constantly putting new videos up. I'm going to be doing another PD. Um, Within the next week or so, you'll see on the Facebook group, it'll be posted on how to do the interactive games for, for your students. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know what it's going to be in the fall, but I mean, it's always a good idea to, to still use this stuff in, in September, even if we end up, you know, going back to the buildings or wherever you're from, or if you end up doing some kind of alternate day schedule, you know, even even if we're all back in school and things, you know, in a perfect, perfect world, we're all back in the classroom. We definitely still want to make sure that we're we're incorporating technology as much as we can, because I, I feel that that was a mistake that was made before going into all of this. I really don't feel that a lot of people, including the students, were pre prepared enough for all of this, which is which is why, you know, it made a lot of teachers scared. They didn't know how to use the technology. Um and that made me feel horrible because, you know, teachers, we, we give our 110% to everything and we don't do this for the pay. We all know that. So definitely I wanted to help my colleagues and it started out with videos to help my colleagues. And then I found the Bitmoji page and started making videos for that. And it was like, before I knew it, this thing took off. So like I said, I just, all I ask is that everyone just subscribes and shares the the link to my channel so that you know other people have the same resources and I, I get I get people that reach out to me on Facebook you know they're like I'm so sorry please don't think I'm a stalker I don't I definitely do not think that um, I just think that you're you're educators that really just care about your students and you want to implement really fun and, and interactive ideas and in, in your you know whatever online platform that you're using to teach them and I really want to help to make that possible for all of you. So, you know, if I don't have answers to those questions, then like I said, I have a, I work with a team of phenomenal ladies on the Bitmoji Craze team. Um, they have their channels as well. In my, on my channel, you'll see, should probably be down in the bottom right hand corner, um, suggested channels. I suggest that you subscribe to them as well. Um, you know, some of us use Mac, some of us use, you know, Microsoft products. But definitely, we, we all have really good quality videos and tutorials, and you know we all make ourselves available for everybody. Um, 
side question, since you mentioned interactive, can I share an interactive Google slide for use on iPad or iPhone? Um, see, I don't use Apple products. I am like an Android girl and I use, you know, Microsoft for my, my computer system, but, um, if you could message me privately, I will get you the answer to that because I think that the answer to that was, I think, sharing it in a different way. I don't know, maybe making it a PDF. I'm trying to remember. Um, but I do remember somebody said that they they had that same that same problem, um, especially with the iPad. Some kids were using iPads and they, they it wasn't compatible. They weren't able to open the links or something. Um, so, yeah, just reach out to me if you're someone from the the Facebook page. You can just send me a private message and I will make sure to direct you to, you know, um, one of the, the ladies that I work with that is more well-versed in, in Apple products than I am. Any other questions? Because we're about at that hour mark. So if there's no other questions, then we'll probably finish up. Yeah, see, and I, I, I'm like trying to get into like the whole Mac thing now just because I've been doing all of this. Um, my husband has an iPad that I'm trying to commandeer. Um, shh, don't tell him, but I, I do I do definitely want to learn and I want to become familiar with the software so that I'm able to make more videos. But I do want to thank all of you for joining me on this Saturday um, from all over the world. And I, that never gets old. I love to say that. I uh, just, like I said, please keep, you know, keep, stay tuned, make sure that you're paying attention to that Facebook page because I will be doing other PDs in the future. And if you're interested, I do have other live PDs that were recorded from the past. One is Bitmoji Basics and another one is Bitmoji Beyond Basics. And that really covers the first one is like beginning to intermediate level skills. And then my Beyond Basics covers more of the animation 3D Bitmojis, how to get them into your Google Slides, you know, customizing their clothing. Um, obviously, you can't do things like this because they're animated, but it still does give you the, the ability to, you know, have some more fun and, and put those animations into your videos. So thanks again for coming, everyone. I really appreciate your time and stay tuned for more Bitmoji stuff. Take care.